No. Okay, it popped up yet. Seven o'clock. Yay. Of course, you got Admit YouTube. who? I mean, I admit it in the room. YouTube's in behind, so. Cool. All right, it's up. I see it. <laughs> right on. The system's beginning to work the way it needs to work. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's see. We're live here at Facebook. We're live here on YouTube. I just want to say hello, everybody. And on top of that, I just got done downing up two slices of pizza real quickly. <laughs> so, all right. <clears throat> okay, tonight's going to be a very interesting night. It's going to be kind of a uh, giddy up and go. And on top of that, it's going to be many things for you to go ahead and also as well you'll be able to learn some things and also move forward in where you are up to going. So with that, with that said, oh, also another thing. Boy, they sure don't like when you play certain music on, on this system. YouTube gets all, I don't know what they do, but it was kind of funny. We got banned. We were banned in Iran, Libya, and North Korea. I don't know how I did that, how I got there, but I did. So we got banned there because of uh, the music that we had on. on uh, so I play the music in the background sometimes. And years ago, they never really said anything about it because I wasn't loaded up to it on, you know, on purpose. So anyways, so what we want to do is just let you know that uh, we got a lot of things going on. And most of all, there's a lot of good things coming this year for a lot of you. And we're looking forward to go ahead and uh, have you get your credit the way you want it, your corporate credit the way you want to get it to go, your business. <laughs> so, uh, but it feels good to know that, uh, I guess they banned you from someplace. <laughs> so anyways, all right, let's, let's get going about that. Now there's a lot of stuff on people on YouTube, you know, saying you know, how to go ahead and get 256,000 grants in any business. Uh, there's other stuff out in the world saying how to get your, uh, uh, PPP loan. All right. That, that's fine and damn nothing wrong with that. We do service that. We do have that. But one thing I just wanted to let you know is that uh, those programs are fine and that's great. And I think you should apply for them. If you want, you can come to us and we will go ahead and do that for you and we'll apply for them and we'll get it done for you. I just want to let you know that as we move forward in what we're doing is that you folks will always have a spot and a place to go to to inquire about that. Uh, they should be releasing the new app, the new applications here in the next couple of days for sure. And we'll just give you some updates regarding Zuma and Strategic as well. Right now, they're going to be it's going to be uh, information updated from a couple of people that we've spoken to, and then also um, to, uh, we'll have another update with them again because uh, tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and actually speak to the owner himself and find out really what's going on. And that will make a difference for everybody as well. So we just want to let you know that that's what we're going to be doing. All right. So what I want to say is, first of all, let's put on our armor and let's go. Because here's the thing. In corporate credit and in business, in building business, you want to remember one thing. You're always going to have the people like in the background giving you a ha poo. They're pooing you. Someone flying over you trying to go and tell you, talking in your ear saying, oh, well, you know, the corporate credit is really not all that. Well, I tell you what, that's a person who probably doesn't have all, all that. That's why you got to put on your armor against the people that speak smack that don't know the industry. And the ones that are in the industry, some, like I said, we all have our, our expertise and everything. And some, I, like I said, I've been in this business since 1985. So I've honed it and honed it and honed it. And there's a lot of people out there that just give you a lot of basic stuff, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. And also the corporate credit, probably the way I talk about it, sometimes could sound um, a little, um, oh, let's say, uh, it could be a, a bit challenging if you want to say, because I talk about the visions, I talk about all your uh, other areas. In fact, someone, one of uh, my, my partner, he talked to me today. He said, you know what? I was listening to uh, uh, Tony Robbins uh, and some something he was talking about and then he says, yeah, Tony mentioned that he has 31 businesses. And then he mentioned something about what I, what 
I mentioned them maybe a month, maybe a couple of months ago. And to them, I mentioned a lot more than that. We always have a company sitting on the side growing and, and, and having your credit grow with them because you never know. And when Tony said that, he said, man, I know who said that before. And he, he said, you know, it fairly, finally hit him to realize, wow, if someone like Tony has 31 businesses, now yeah, that could be the, a main company and then all divisions, 31 different divisions. Now I'm telling you, it's not hard to manage when you have people to manage them. But if you only have yourself to manage, three divisions are going to be about the max you can manage before you, you, you go off the rails, which means you won't be able to handle your business that you're doing. So what I'm saying, the reason why I put this up here is to give you an idea. This is what you have to have on in the world, folks. If you don't have a skin like this, I don't mean no compassion, but what this guy is wearing, the armor, what he's wearing, the sword, the chain on the sword, the helmet. Look how thick it is around his neck. Look at the plate. Look at the claw they're trying to go after. him. This is all the stuff that comes at you every day, every day, every day, every day. It will come at you. And if you're not protected, you're going to get hit. Even see, if you notice this shield, there's a little, there's a little um, uh, a bright uh, emblem orange on there because some of it, you know, getting through the shield a little bit. Uh, and it sounds kind of crazy to put it this way, but now you notice it also has this, uh, uh, another sword in his sheath on his side. And you notice how protected his shoulders and around his neck. All I want to let you know, this is really what it's like in the world itself. Where you guys, even though we don't dress that way, we don't dress, you know, we, we dress with a suit and tie, we'll put a tie on, and then whatever we do for business, or maybe a, 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 just a dress shirt, or also maybe we go ahead and do, um, you know, other things to go ahead and whatever the environment calls for. What I want to just let you know, this really represents what, what you're up against in life. Because you got your personal credit you got to deal with. And a lot of people use their personal credit that causes a lot of damage. A corporation is always building. You're always building. You're always building. You're always building. What's next? You're always building. You're always building. And on top of this, at Corporate Credit Blueprints, we're always building with you. When you come with us, it's not, you better not, you can have one dream when you start. But as you grow, you, you must have a few more. You always must have something in the world what's next. And I don't mean like what's next. I mean, what's next, next, next to where you get to the point you don't know what's next. So you get to, okay, great. Now you got to start creating. And creating means you create from nothing so you can have something. Don't recreate what you already had, but create something newly and something that's going to make a difference. That's going to take you and move you. Because you think Bezel is just excited about Amazon? Yeah, he might be excited about what he's created about it. But now he has other projects. Look at other projects he has. So you want to begin to realize corporate credit will lead you down a road to where you want to inspire yourself. But in the beginning, a lot of people just don't have the wherewithal to go ahead and, and do the first 90 days. This is the reason why I just, I, uh, I decided, well, I, first I talked to the group about it and they said, you know what, you should come out with what you used to do. What I used to do is a lot of stuff for companies. We used to do all the work. I'm talking all the work. The only thing your job was to do is come to the, uh, the trainings and come to the meeting because at least you would know what was going on. And uh, back when we were doing that, I mean, we couldn't really do, do a lot. We didn't really do a lot of any webinars because we always got referrals, referrals, referrals. And now we're, I just wanted to come out and do the basic because there's people out there that really don't really understand what corporate credit is. And it's not that corporate credit, I want to say it's not that busy. And it's not that hard. And hard is mean difficult. It, it's like kind of like uh, Lego. So you're going to have to put them together and you find the pieces, the puzzle. But with us, you don't have to worry about the puzzle because we're going to give you the pieces and tell you what corner it goes in. So it'd be that simple. We just want to let you know that people out there that you're just beginning with, with corporate credit and don't have an understanding. Just call the office. We'll be glad to chat to you and, 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 and talk to you. Um, so that's one thing we want to say. You just go ahead and call the office. The office number is 888 471 4252, extension 2001. We had someone call last night about 10 o'clock. <laughs> I was still in my, the home office in the office that work in the rank, so I answered it. And 
Yeah, and someone wanted, you know, they got up late, they didn't know they should call. I said, no, I don't worry about it. I'm here. So, you know, what would you need? Hey, guys, I'm really telling you, we really care about your success. A lot of people trying to sell you on this. We're not trying to sell you nothing. We want you to go ahead. If you really are up to really creating your dream and protecting your assets, then you tell, we just tell you, give us a call. Again, if you go to Corporate Credit Blueprints, for those of you right now, you can go to the website. You can go download. Right now, you can download right from the website a couple of books. You can cop, cop, uh, download the first book. Then you go scroll down a little bit, put the information to call. You can uh, download the second book. It's an ebook. All right, it'll help you get you kind of uh, your feet on the floor, get you started. There, these are this, all the information in those books is what. Uh, there's some little things different in that other people have told you, but also there is information in there that is is basic, the foundation. It's like any university. If you go to any university, the foundation's the same. None of it's different. They're all the same. You take the name away, you wouldn't know because you have a registration. You have the counselors, possibly. You, you sign up, you enroll, right? Now, when you get enrolled, you enroll in what you want, what you want, what they tell you you need to do, not what you want to do. They tell you the courses that, that you're supposed to take. And then they're banking on you to be the, the person that memorizes the answers to go take the test. Instead of like I had a professor that I was telling you once before that he didn't want you to memorize the answers. He wants you to come up with the answers outside of the box. And if you didn't, he didn't pass you. But if you got the answers, why two times two was four, and you explained it, why it was four, not because you had two times two and you, and you learned it was four, is that two times two is four because no matter what you have, one orange, one rock, one brick, and one can, that equals four. But a lot of people, all colleges do is train you to go ahead and, and just memorize. They don't train you to have any inspiration. They don't train you to go ahead and go out and do what you, really what you want to do. They don't train you how to learn. They don't train you to get excited about learning new things. And that's the thing that here at Corporate Credit Blueprints, you're always going to learn something new. Now, it's up to you to do it. I mean, that's one of the reasons why one of the biggest challenges to find people in this industry to work in the industry is that a lot of there's a lot. Of, now it's a lot of technology. Some of them don't have have the tech savvy don't want to learn about it because they don't know what they they like to be told what to do like they were in college they don't have the brain power to really think on their own and that's the challenging part but in corporate credit you will learn a lot of stuff that some of us might say and, and say to you you go oh i never thought of it that way and that's that's how that's fine that's what it's all about that's why you have a community with inside the organization that we have in a family so you can go ahead and learn what you need to learn for yourself now, with our experiences, we have over 27 years in the industry, okay? And, I, and we decided to alter some of the direction of it, which means this. Um, now you're going to see, let's see some things like corporate credit blueprints and the real estate end of it. And it's not, the, it's not the real estate end of it when I'm talking about. It's why I talked about becoming the bank, learning to go ahead and have the $100,000 or $50,000 that we talked about, where you're able to lend that out as a, through your divisions, now, with that also saying, there's some stuff that we used to do before, and we've done it quietly on the side because the fact is, is that we never really had to advertise about anything like this. And we're, not, everyone, we're only bringing it now because we're just looking to go ahead and have more people that actually are, are tired of where they're at that want to get moving forward and have the corporation go ahead and really get some uh, momentum inside the credit building so they can go ahead and fulfill their passion. Now, another thing is that we're always helping everyone grow. Also, another thing we're gonna we're gonna ramp up the uh, we're gonna ramp up some of the stuff now, and also to design and it's designed to empower you, and and, desi and designed to empower your team. Because let me ask you, when you don't have to worry about money, when you already know you have money there to do what you need to do, there's a certain kind of uh, oh, what do you want to say? Certain kind of confidence you get, knowing that okay, great. Even if you lose, you're gonna win. Even when you lose, you're going to win. It's almost the same thing like you want to go ahead and say, uh, like when bad things happen to you, and the Bible says, you know, things bad that happen to you, it's always for your good. And it always does come out if you really believe it and watch it. It does roll. So I, it's, it's the same process inside of that. 
The business is designed, even when you lose, you win. And there's a lot behind that. That right there, what I just said, is a whole day, a whole day seminar. I'm talking at least from eight to eight, because there's a lot of depth and a lot of peeling back the onion. So that's what we do there. One thing is this, we want learning the steps. We want to repackage your whole life. That's what we're up to. That's really what we're up to. When I say repackaging your whole life, it's repackaging your life so you no longer recognize what it once was. You have a memory of what it once was, but not like it, like what it was now, because now it's going to be uh, transformed and not changed. Because remember, change is only more, better, different. You want to transform something that makes a difference so you can never go, go back to it because it's, you haven't changed. You transform, just like a caterpillar. A caterpillar, what it does, it does a little crawly around thing. Eventually, it turns into a cocoon. Then from a cocoon, it goes into, turns into a beautiful butterfly. You have seen nowhere in the history of a butterfly turning back into a cocoon and then back into a caterpillar. This is what a lot of people, and, and some people here tell me at the, or at the organization, the team here saying, that's too far-fetched for some people. I don't know if they can put their hand around it. And someone says, I, I don't quite understand what you mean by that. Because in the human aspect, we don't like change anyways to begin with. But to transform something, oh, oh wait a minute. It's not any kind of woo-woo. What it just means that change is just more, better, different. Even if you stand still, things are going to change. Even if you don't stand still, things are going to change. But when you transform something, it's not change. It's transformed just like the uh, caterpillar to a cocoon turns into a butterfly. It doesn't want to, it doesn't have even the urge. Transform, you don't even remember anything about it. That's why it's all about change my life. Well, have a good time having the same life just disguised. Folks, when you, you transform your life, there is nothing else to look at other than forward because you don't really have that history anymore. You don't need the mental history in your head about what was once. Now, you can take the quality stuff and use the quality stuff from it, but this is what we do. We talk to you on how to repackage your whole life at the weekly workshops that we have so you can grow your business, grow the corporate credit. Here's the thing. None of you really want to be satisfied with $50,000 in corporate credit. Some of you just want to take that step because you're not sure, which is fine. We will be glad to carry the surety for you, which means if you want to be sure, we'll make sure because we're sure. We have no qualms about that. See, a million dollars in corporate credit is nothing. Do you have to build it? Of course. Do you have to spend money to make the money? I mean, folks, if someone tells you you don't, you're crazy. But what I can tell you this, any money that you spend, at least here with corporate credit blueprints, you end up with 10 times of what you invested. 10 times the money, what you invested. Think about that. You can't even go, you can't, you, you, 10 times, I'm telling you, 10 times. It's like saying, well, okay, you know what? I want 10% of my money. Well, you're gonna get 10 times what you put into it. If you, here's the thing, you put in, uh, hypothetically, I'm gonna make up a story. You put in, uh, let's say you put in 20,000. You can get 10 times back. How much is that? 200,000. You folks got to really begin. This is a return that you actually do get. You do get it. Especially if we do the work, you're going to get it. The only thing is you need to do is there's some information we have to get from you to go ahead and do some work. And sometimes we do it with on a Zoom so you can see, and then we're done with that part. But I just want to let you know there's everything, even if you don't come to us and do it, which means if you want to go on the learning process, um, okay, we send you what you want to do next. Okay, here's your next step. If you want to be that way, that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. However you wish to do it. But the thing is, if you can learn to repackage your whole life, and here's the thing. A lot of you said, I just want money. I just want to go have some money to prepare for a dream. Well, corporate credit is the way to do it. You don't have to worry about, oh, my God, my personal credit. What if it gets hit? When here, you, it gives you courage to go out and do something. So guess what? If it doesn't work, you can say, okay, you know what? I found out why it didn't work. And remember, debt follows tax ID. And remember what Hillary Clinton and uh, all the, and, and uh, Biden and all, uh, who else? Uh, 
Trump and D Walt Disney. Seven times Walt Disney filed bankruptcy. Seven times. Nobody even knows that. A lot of people, especially millennials, have you even checked out how many companies that are successful? The founders have filed bankruptcy at least five or six times on an average. Walt Disney seven times. Think about that. No big deal because debt follows tax ID and finally Disney got it right. You have to learn somehow, folks, but let it ride on the corporate back, not your family's house. S stop bringing the pain home. Like really? Now, here's another thing I wanted to let you know. See, a lot of people don't understand this also. We tell you it's building a business. Now I use numbers here. And it's supposed to be a, a comma after the 200. So I'm going to put a period. But anyways. Well, I want to let you know is this. Is that this is what we do with, with banks. And you've, you've heard about this before. This is not no secret. You, you want to give yourself, your company, three references? Here, I'm going to give you, a, I, I'm dropping you a golden nugget. And just because you haven't heard it, because no one's told you about it, or you say, oh, I know that already. If you know that already, then why haven't you done it already? And stop saying, I've been done, had that already. Forget all that nonsense. If you've been, if you've been done, had that already, you'd have it done already. So you want to remember this. It's easy. You go to your bank or credit union, all right? Whoever in the bank arena, you go there, you put open up a CD. And you say, look, it, I want to go ahead and borrow against the CD. You borrow a credit line against the CD. All right. So you get a credit line against the CD. And then you have another CD and go borrow against that CD. All right. So now you have references at the bank. All right. As an asset. And then you have credit lines that you're able to use to take care of the asset. Now, hold on. If you do it right, you can have two, four, six, six hundred thousand dollars, and you can turn that into three millions because of the reference, because you get to use the three references on all applications that you get to do. Now, banks borrow from the feds up to ten, up to ten times, up to. I didn't say it, they all do. I just said up to. Also, I'm not here to be your attorney. I'm not here to be your cons uh, financial advisor. I'm not here to go ahead and be your um, CPA. Oh, by the way, uh, I told you I really had a good CPA for you guys. In fact, I, uh, she's supposed to call me back tomorrow. I want to see if I can get her on, on here on the Zoom to go over the stuff with you folks, the write-offs you can have. It's a real nice deal. She's really sharp at what she does. She really is. So anyways, now you can borrow up to five times that. But here you can end up with $3 million in the ref I mean, in references that you can borrow from to equal $3 million. All you have to do is go to a couple of banks, three banks at 600000 And then you have what? That's an asset because it is an asset in the bank. And then on top of that, they give you the credit line. You can borrow the credit line. You got three different credit lines. How much is that? Huh? Okay, think about it. Let me tell you, these are nice references to have to give your, uh, your bank, I mean, your reference. Plus, on top of that, you get a credit reporting from the bank we get the, against a credit line for you know two hundred thousand dollars or even two thousand dollars. Get a two thousand dollar thing. Use one. That's what I'm saying. When you get corporate credit, we show you how to use credit to make money from the credit. You use your credit to do the references. You use the credit to do many things with it. You use the credit to go ahead and build. You're always building. If you're not building, you're not doing anything. Because here's what a lot of people do: they get complacent. Oh, well, I have enough, I have enough uh, personal credit, man. I have over, you know, $400,000 in, in uh, whatever it is. And I have over a million dollars in personal credit. That's fine and dandy. But what are you going to do to expand it? There's only one of you. There's only one of you. Only one. Only one of you. That's it. My big bald head. There's only one of you. See, this is one thing I don't know exactly if, how to really explain it, because I'm not going to give you the keys to the, the whole kingdom. I'm going to tell you about the kingdom. What I'm telling you is that how we teach you is that 
your million that you brag about, even the four million, what would you do inside of all this if you knew that you could go ahead and keep growing it? Take the first million and a half you have. Okay, great. Let's turn that into another million, another million in credit, another million in credit available. And you don't have to go through it. And if you're personally guaranteed it, you won't have to personal guarantee this, the second round of it. Because there's strategies that the rich use or the corporations use that you can have it. And it's real simple to show you the strategies. Now, I can do all this stuff that everyone else does. I can go ahead and grab all the cards. Hold on, I'm getting to write some of them. Hold on, I'm just getting them. All right, I can grab all these cards and all right, I got the wallet, the wallet of the card. Now I'm just gonna show you what I just have at the desk. My other wall, oh, let's see, I have a bigger wallet. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, right there. Hold on. Okay. Let's see. All right, cool. Now I'm going to be playing around a little bit here. So now, Yeah, these are just some of these that, that we have here. Now, I'm going to show these without showing the numbers because the fact is, never know. So, my answer, I want to go ahead and take some. All right. Now, this here, all right? And then this here. Okay? I don't know if you can see them or not, but anyways. <laughs> Ah, come on, camera. Camera, camera, camera. There we go. Wait, let me see. All right, maybe I'll stop moving around. I don't know. Ah. Uh, doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. Well, anyways, just to show you that there's a lot of cards that there's just not a whole lot. I have, we have a stack about that big. Now, this is just what's in the desk. I just want to let you know is that I can show you all this stuff, but what, what do you care? You don't care about having, all, you don't care about that. You care what you have. And that's why I really don't really show a lot of stuff. I hate, look, we got record credit. We got, you, you don't care about all that. What you care about mostly is that what, you know, what about me? Exactly. What about you? You do deserve that. All I'm saying is that we show you strategies so you can have what you want and go what you want, do what you want. I'm telling you folks that what you can do, you can get it to a point where you can walk into a bank and they'll give you a credit line for 25 up to $49,999 before they ask you for tax returns. Once you have your, your corporation built to a certain status with these nice references you have, and see, most people can't handle this. Let me tell you what I mean by that. The average Joe is so busy working for a living, they have no idea yeah, I heard that before, but actually to implement it, you have to go to the bank, do something. And I don't know why people get so scared. Well, I'm going to give them $2,000 and I got to ask them for a credit line. Hello, you give them your money. You say, look, I'm going to let you have my money because you're going to go ahead and here's what, folks, do you realize when you give them money, what's happening? And you're not even giving them money. You're giving them an instrument. Folks, remember I talked about this to you the other day. Instruments, contracts. That's a contract, folks. You better really start understanding the money you have in your pocket is nothing but a promissory note. It's a contract that you promise to pay back. And guess what they have as collateral? <laughs> Not only you, and I don't want to get into that part of the water, even though I might have just thrown you in it. Not only do they have you 
I know, and you means you as the surety, okay, which you probably don't understand that or even want to believe it, which is, it doesn't matter to me because you can look this up if you really, really deeply want to know about this. But that money you have is you owe the government, you own the United States that money. Gold money, not the paper money. The paper money is just saying that you're using their money because they promised the monetary uh, a funding company, uh, fund, funding company, and the MIF to borrow the money. So they borrow the money from the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve gives it to the United States. The United States passes it out. And now, since you use it, everything you use has a title on it, and it's not in your title. And a lot of you think you own your homes, think you own your trucks. If you did, when you pay it off, why do you still have to pay the taxes on it? And also, why do you still have to have it? insured in the state you're in instead of just straight liability. Think about it for a minute. And then on top of that, why do you think you have your house? You think you own your house? You know you don't own your house. Make Stop making the house payment. Show me who owns it. All right. They are oh, stupid. Okay, go. let me go with this. You pay, your house is paid off, but stop paying the taxes on it. Who's going to take it then? See, you don't own your house completely. If you did, you wouldn't have any taxes on it. The Aldo title is the only thing that will save you. And a lot of people don't even know what that is. Texas has quite a few still around that are transferable when you buy the property and you don't have to pay any taxes on it. Why? Because the Aldo title. There's a lot of things we teach you inside the corporate credit uh, blueprints business, how to go ahead and buy real estate and get the title. You don't have to pay taxes on it. Why? It's part of the program. What I just want to let you know is this. One thing you want to begin to understand, it's not what you're looking at. Remember the Wizard of Oz. You want to know who's behind the curtain. This is what's so exciting about corporate credit. You get to go up and be the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain to go ahead and build the credit as big as you want. If you want to be as big as Apple, then let's build it. Let's do it. Do you want to do this? It's up to you. I highly suggest if you do. Look, at you can have three things, three banks reporting on your business. And each of those banks, you have that money in there. You have whatever, $2,000 would be $6,000. And you have three credit lines at $2,000. Now, now you have something to show. And a lot of people don't have the self-control to go ahead. Well, I'm not going to use that money to make the payments. Use that money to make the payments on round robin. Folks, you got to understand how to play the game. You can win the game with no problem if you know it correctly and properly. Now, also another thing is we have a starter package that a lot of people actually been actually inquiring about. So I just kind of put it together. This is what it is. This is how it actually will be. You have the credit rebuild and the credit rapid rescore. We handle the personal side and the business side. All right. The, and the one thing is the rapid rescore is really awesome and it works really good. All right, then we the articles of incorporation, the officers list, the tax ID. We set up the whole thing up for you. The articles of incorporation, the officers list, we fill it out for you. We send it to you, you sign it, and you send out the fees to take have it taken care of. And then we order the stock kit for you. We'll get online, send you where to go order, where to go pay for it. You pay for your stock kit. We do everything that you know if you're working that you won't have time to do. So we take that off your plate. Sometimes you can call us during, okay, we schedule an appointment. What time do you go to lunch? You say at 1230. Okay, well, Mountain, Eastern, whatever time you're on, then we'll do that. All right, now we'll go ahead and get a line. Okay, we'll do a Zoom if you can from your phone. More like you just download Zoom, you can. All right, then we'll get this set up and go over what you need to do. And then you go do it. Then on top of that, the corporate setup. We go through the whole corporate setup, the workshop for 90 days. Why? Because what happens in the 90 days, we're going to show you again how to go ahead and do the line of defense. We're going to show you how to do the line of defense. Now, that means you're going to spend, again, you're going to spend money to make some money, and each state is different. I can tell you there's quite a few states that are still only 35 45 bucks. There's one state I absolutely know of that is $160 for a DBA. <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> 160 bucks. Woo! That is rough. So, other than that, I just want to let you know. Then, the reason why, by the time you get your five cards, you have your three divisions set up with the names you want. 
If you want it in your name, that's fine then. Even though it won't be your name, it will be the name that looks like your name. That's fine if you wish. But now you can actually have the LLCs you want. If you want the whole division to be LLCs, that's fine. It's up to you. But at least you'll have a line of defense from the LLC because then the corporation is the managing member itself. Or here's something else someone doesn't even tell you. I'm not going to tell you the answer. You find the answer yourself. But I'm going to tell you this. Can an LLC form another LLC? All right? Just remember that. Now, by the time you get done in 90 days from building your credit, you will have three, your three divisions already set up. Then when you start getting cards, then, we can, then you can start doing what we need to do. So that's all the corporate setup. And the, because what we're going to do is working on packaging to get you to a million in corporate credit. It doesn't make any difference. It's either a million you have in cash. Cool. But remember, a million in cash, the inflation's eating it up. But if you have a million dollars in corporate credit, yes, whatever the inflation doesn't allow you to buy because of the inflation, at least it didn't eat your dollars. You'll still have a million dollars in corporate credit and you'll still be able to buy the same thing because their million now might be only worth, guess what? How much? Let's say 800, 900,000 because of how, how it ate it up. But the thing is you had the corporate credit and it still has the same value as they have. Just saying. Also, another thing is this. Start asking your banks. I, I, I believe Wells Fargo. Start asking the bank is that can you borrow, go ahead and buy gold from them, but yet not, not uh, carry it, have them hold the gold and buy the gold from them, and they can hold it in, in um their uh, vault for you, which is, you know, vaults I'm talking about. The ones you go in and you put a little key in and you turn it, okay? That's what I'm talking about. You can buy gold from certain banks and they can put it in the house it for you. Not gold certificates. That's trash. Folks, you can buy as much as you want. You can buy silver, they can hold it. All right? So that's just a little tidbit for you. There's a reason why. Do you realize? Ah, I'm gonna spill it anyways. Do you realize if you have gold in the bank vault that you realize you can go ahead and borrow against that, whatever the going price is at the time? <laughs> Whether let's say it's the highest point and you borrow there and all of a sudden it drops. Here's the beauty. You want gold to drop. I know it sounds crazy. You want gold to drop now because the currency reset, when it happens, at least your gold will just go through the roof. Each time gold goes down, you should buy it. Don't buy it because you're playing the market. Buy it because of the fact that you are the one. You want to go ahead and, and buy more. Buy more. Buy more. Buy more. Buy more. Why? I don't care. Whatever it is, even as a, an ounce. So what? Buy more. And guess what you can buy it with? Guess what, folks? Let me tell you a little secret. You can buy it with corporate credit as an investment because that's what the business does. Isn't your business in a business to making money? So why can't it invest in gold? Why can't it invest in silver? Hello? Oh, just a tidbit. See, this is what I'm saying. Your family money can't afford to buy that kind of gold. Use the corporate credit because this is an investment in the, for the corporation. Remember, don't you think Bezos not buying anything? You think Walmart's not buying? You think Apple's not buying? Please, give me a... You think Bill Gates? Come on. Let's go even to some of the uh, people that kind of be... Uh, that you want to say that you, we call them... Uh, un, uh, what would you call Hillary? I don't know what you call her. Don't you think she's buying any? Don't you think Trump's bought any? Think of everyone that, you, that people complain about. Schumer? Come on, Biden? What did Biden do with all that money? You think he just kept it in, in paper? Please. Folks... You're no different once you get into a corporation. Doesn't mean you're going to be like them. You now have the ability to go ahead and have 
what they have. And when things reset, I'm telling you folks, for you, you're going to understand one thing. Your corporation is going to be right there as long as you treat it right. And your family is going to be well taken care of because you have the corporate credit set up already. And, the, and you're going to see a lot of your uh, your personal credit change to a degree that you think is going to shock the holy moly out of you because a lot of you aren't prepared. Just like the COVID, when it swooped you right off your feet, you weren't prepared. And it's not about being scaring you. It's, it's, it's just a fact. Things are going to shift. They're already shifting. Folks, when Biden gets into uh, power, the country's going to close down for a few more months again because his philosophy is that you need to do that. I mean, do I agree with it? I don't personally agree with it because that's not what stops it. What stops is people keeping, you know, keeping their hands clean, wearing the mask right now, uh, and eating right, taking care of yourself, not being around a lot of people blowing, uh, you know, coughing in your face, uh, stuff like that. So what I'm just telling you, this is the reason why you want to be a millionaire in corporate credit. I don't care if your person lives underneath a bridge. If you get a million dollars worth of credit, you're just like a millionaire down the street. You can buy whatever he wants. Whatever you can buy with a million, you can too. You just got to become smart with the money that you get. Smart with the investment the corporation is going to trust you with. Oh, I'm buying gold. I'm buying gold when it's down. Why do you want to buy when it's up? Keep buying when it's down because remember, what goes down must come up. The dollar bill drops, gold goes up. Dollar bill goes up, gold goes down. Folks, contracts, contracts. You're going to have more power because you can contract your gold. I'm not going to talk about what that means, but you can contract that gold. I put that link in the in the site for the lady uh, from uh, uh, Sunday. I put the link in there that talked about the reset and everything else. And she tells you I, I, what's going on. Very, very fluent. Very fluid in what she's talking about. And it's not low, no crazy stuff. She's been around since 1985, just like I have. And I've seen her grow. So she is awesome. So I just want to let you know she's really sharp in what she does. And corporate credit blueprints, I'm telling you, we keep up in areas a lot of these other people don't. Why? Because I want to make sure the day this stuff happens, that they say, man, I'm glad I was with corporate credit blueprints. And that's then it happened to me back in the, oh, in the eight, uh, late 80s, early 90s, same thing. I was still kind of green, but I knew what I was doing a little bit. I had that happened. And then, and then the housing it came in around then. And then 2006 again, same thing. Oh man, people coming. But I tell you what, I changed the price. Why? You didn't want to listen then. I'm telling you now, call us, we work with you, and then we'll have it happen for you. Why? Because. And because why? Because you're part of the family. Now, also another thing is, we were talking about houses too. One thing I'll let you know about houses is that we even have a class on that, which I really don't do a whole lot here. I don't advertise it too much, but I since we now have the money to lend on it, we've all, I've always I've all had it before, and I closed it down. And I I said, you know, I'm going to get back into it again. So we have the real estate division. Remember, I told you division. One of them is real estate. All right, but you got to learn how what a home you know home house a homestead transfer living trust, and then you want to open your corporation, but never never. Name your corporation after you. Never. Make it very generic, like uh, um, uh, International, uh, Colton International. What's Colton International? No, who knows? National First. National First, what's that? No, it's just not pigeonholed, all right? Also, you never, you never says what you know. You don't ever say what it does. Your name doesn't say it. But what it does is business management that manages the divisions. Also, now I say you must have $1 million of credit in corporate credit. Why? Because it's important that you have that million dollars in corporate credit when you're going to deal in real estate. Some of it you can use yourself to lend out and some of you can use for others. Or some, like I said, you find a house you can flip, you come to us, fill out the form, contact us, we'll send you the form, you fill it out, you send it to us. As long as it's under contract, we can do it all day long. We'll let you know what we have and here you go. And you'll find out we go up almost 100% on the uh, flip houses and stuff. And we have the we have the information up on this on the site. And also we have uh, uh, one of our uh, technicians out there working on the um, a new flyer for us as well to go ahead and hand out and deliver through the email. And then also put up where you can get, download all the information and you can go to work. Those of you who are brand new, if you don't have any money, you'll have the money now to go ahead and be like the big boys. You can compete with them. You'll be able to compete because you have money. Also, we'll give you a letter of credit. How much money you have, we'll give you a letter of credit. Now, you're going to 
you have to pay for the letter of credit, which means you're not paying us to give you one a lie. But you have to pay because we have to process it and get the letter of credit for you. But the thing is, you can walk a letter of credit, boom, and then you go. All right. And this is all for non owner, non owner flips. But this is not a traditional, this is all strictly non owner money. And because it's it's like a hard money, but we have, you know, bridge loans or whatever it is, so on. But we do have stuff for the house flippers. Also, for someone that's going to maintain the house for a while, uh, for five years, we have a 30 due in five. So there's many things we can go ahead and do. So we never do business as, you know, never do business as a corporation. And what does that mean? That means don't use a corporation on top to do business with. Use divisions. You don't use a corporation to do business. You use divisions. See the little blue lines down there? See the big blue box? And see the three little boxes? That's who does the business. All the corporation does is build its credit. Now, this is something a lot of you don't know. I'm going to give it to you. And some of you do know. And if you haven't done it, shame on you. When you do your tax return until it gets to a certain point, five to 10 million per division. And gross revenues <clears throat> but until then or unless your cpa tells you different you do a compiled tax return do a compiled tax return do a compiled tax return It'll save you a lot of headaches of trying to do one at a time until it gets to a point where you need to but you never do business as a corporation you do a business down in your divisions that's where you're going to get your line of protection all the corporations are going to do is build and build and build its credit to give to its children. Think about it, folks. It's, they are your children, but they have more rights than the flesh and blood living, breathing human being. It has 300 and roughly 22 different write-offs. Hasn't changed much in the last since 1985. On top of that, you can still write off the real estate on it in some areas. Still writable. Each, each house should have its own division and the division will be the address. So that's the thing you wanna to begin to look at. Now, you should have a division for a real estate, a division for a franchise and divisions for your current business and also profit sharing division, division. Now, never have joint credit with your loved ones. I am sorry to tell you that, you think I'm crazy. I'm gonna tell you how crazy I am. Never, never. Have a joint credit with your wife or husband or your partner in life or the new rules about getting married. Never have it together because it doesn't mean you love them by having it together. It means you don't love them because if you really love them, you would know that in this world that sometimes stuff's going to hit either one of you. If and one of you gets hit and gets sued or ever have to uh, do something, file BK, Good, you can let it all get done and love off the other, the other spouse or your partner's your credit that way and then straighten your other credit out and get it straightened out. Once you get it straightened out, then, then guess what's gonna happen probably? The person that you rode with for a while is gonna have a problem with their credit. It's just like that. And then on top of that business credit, you'll have the business credit in the meantime to go ahead and do your business without worrying, oh my God, I don't have no credit. Yeah, you do. You got the corporate credit to go ahead and do the business with. So you set up the line of defense. You always got to prepare. Like I gave you a thing in the beginning. You have that guy with the armor on. You always are protected. Even when you lose, you're going to win. Now, also another thing is this. When you buy a house, don't do it jointly. Don't. It's the foolish thing. And then you're going to put it into a homestead. Then you're going to take it out and put it in an irre irrevocable trust. You transfer to a living trust or irrevocable, depending. Talk to your attorney about that. I'm just going to tell you the, these two things or put it into a corporation so you don't have to go through all the uh, nonsense. I just had someone, a friend of mine, pass from COVID. Man, his his uh, girl wife going through uh, craziness with the family because there's a lot of stuff that didn't get done properly. So now there's, it's crazy. How people get about when someone dies. Oh, that's mine. It's mine. Man, they're taking the poor guy's boots off him, you know? The guy, they haven't even buried him yet. And they're arguing over it now. Isn't that crazy? That's that's crazy. But if would have had everything in a, in a corporation before he passed, no worries. It all be handled, all be done. Because it's already done. It's in the corporation. Corporation never dies unless you kill it, which means you don't uh, uh, have it working, don't keep up with the returns, whatever it is. All right. So what I'm saying is that a transfer uh, corporation is perpetual. 
You don't have to go through all that nonsense. So, now with that said, on to the next. Now, I say why us? This is all the kind of like the nonsense here, but here's the deal. Why us? Because business mentors are the key. We mentor you. Uh, I'll check up on you once in a while myself. Some people will check up on you and call you. But the main thing is that we make sure that you are going where you're going. Now, sometimes we give you stuff that works. And we give you stuff that people say it doesn't work. Like I'll give you an idea. Uh, a Zuma office supply, a strategic office supply. All right. There's several reports saying, now I said this before, that they don't report to Dun & Brad. But then they said, we do report to Dun & Brad in Credit Safe and uh, I think either Equifax or Business Experian. And then I got information stating that, well, they only report to Credit Safe and only on the first tier. Well, someone said I spoke to the owner and the owner said that, uh, no, they report to Credit Safe, uh, Dun & Brad and uh, Business Experian or Equifax, one of those two, okay? So they report to three of those. Well, they don't, they never, but if the guy didn't say what I understand it should have been said is that the guy didn't say, well, if you're in tier one, it only can report to credit safe. I don't know that to be for a fact, but I know the person that asked that question recently asked to the owner about that. And the owner told him all three, but he didn't, the person that asked the question did not ask the question saying, does that, does that include tier one too? So that has to get clarified. Because if not, then it's not worth really being with them as a, as a credit builder. I also heard from another company that, uh, from an actual company from their inside, I talked to them and they told me they only report to credit safe, except when they go to tier two. Tomorrow I'm gonna dig down and get to it so I can let you guys know really, because here's the thing, it is a good product what you, have, what you pay and what you get for, especially for $10 a month, they report uh, stuff for you and it's really good for your credit line. But if it's only for tier one, then it's not worth it. But then hold on a second. There's other stuff that uh, in the training tomorrow, we're going to go over tomorrow, that there's two of them. You're going to have, when I say have to, I mean have to. But let me ask you, if you got a trade line on your business for $5,6500, up to, all right, up to $6,500, wouldn't you pay $69 for one of them to sign up and get that reporting? And then you got to buy something, you know, like, once every other month i mean just to get that reporting and it, it's something you could use too i'm not going to say what they are but i also have another one up to five thousand uh, i think it's 149 dollars for that one and some change so the thing is now you got two companies reporting let's say five and sixty five hundred dollars on, on your business those are two trade lines plus now if you have a pilot card that reports that's three and then you all you need is two more reporting Two more reporting, and that's easy because now you got Crown, Crown Office Supply. That's another one you're going to pay for. That gives you four reporting. Now you just need another card, and I can tell you what that other card is. Guess what it is? Da, 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 da. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> you got to understand, this is what the training is for. We tell you these things, and it's a lot of cards. It's a card that's no one mentioned yet. But now you don't need some of those nonsense things. You don't need Uline. You don't need Quill because here's the thing. Are you not going to spend at least $75 on Uline? Shoot, on Zuma and, and uh, Strategic, you spent 75 bucks the first time you signed up. So what's $69 to spend on a company that's going to give you a higher limit, at least anywhere between $5,000 to $6,500, reporting? What kind of credit line are you going to get then when you start getting to the cards? That's the best thing. So I just want to let you know. So also, we want to go ahead and give you, uh, we give you the guidance. And also, if you another thing, if you write down that website, I, I guess you can't click in it. And I guess what happened today, they forgot to put it in the, uh, um, in the, in the room, on the description, so you can clock, uh, go ahead and uh, click on it. But this is where you can go ahead and get your complimentary, complimentary ebook that we'll give you at http http colon forward slash forward slash corporate credit dash blueprints.com there you can go get your little complimentary complimentary ebook okay all right so this is what i'm saying this is all the stuff you get things to go you don't have to and i mean i like uh, i like uline and i like granger granger's pretty good they're pretty good stuff but again you know and 
now people have problems with Granger reporting. I don't understand because a couple of companies uh, that I've worked with here just recently, in fact, last month, yeah, last month, they, uh, was it December, November, November, December, uh, they bought something. It was over $200, dollars or something like that total. And the thing is, is that they, uh, they uh, stopped. Uh, they reported next month in December, and some people said they bought two, three, three or four things with them. So I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it could be an east east coast thing. It could be a central thing. It could be a mountain time thing. It could be a Pacific time thing. I don't know. Some of those things are crazy. And it could, because I can tell you, someone that did order one, one of our clients, and also they ordered around the same time and they didn't report yet. So I, I don't know. I mean, as far as I know, it's all done correctly. So tomorrow I'm going to give Granger a call and ask him again to say, hey, you know what? I know the report that I could tell you. And they rounded up. So uh, with that, that said, I just want to let you know that you know it's it'll it's going to happen. And but if you pay with a credit card with Granger, pay with a credit card with Uline, you won't get reported. You need a 30-day net or even a 15-day net. Now here's something I I'm not saying they'll do it, but here's an idea for you. Now some companies will go ahead and bend, but they're not they don't have it on the website. You can ask them, look, can you give me a 10 a 15-day credit? And just tell them the truth. The reason why I want to do a 15-day credit is look, I want you to report on me. I want you to get reporting so we can report on our company. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm guaranteed to pay you. And I'll order $100 for sure. You might order more than that, but it's not like I order $100 for sure. See, a lot of you don't realize you can call and negotiate with them. And I'm not saying it's going to happen all the time. This is the stuff that I would do, I have done, and still do to this day. And there's some stuff I even go over about people uh, negotiating with the bank. And one thing you want to begin to learn is about certain things about the bank and, and who to call regarding the underwriter. You want to be in touch with the underwriter. Now you're going to meet some underwriters that are just like, woo wee, like Dorothy on the, on the Wizard of Oz, the uh, Wicked Witch of the West. All right. I mean, just downright mean, worse than a uh, mean bulldog in a, in a junkyard. All right. I'm talking vicious. It's of like, you know, when you, uh, and then when you, you get the ones that sound mean, they're the nicest ones. So, you know, just don't judge it by when you hear them. And then you, and that's how you're going to get stuff done. So your job as a person that's building a company, your job is even if you hate the phones, some people hate the phones. You best learn to love it. That's going to be your money right there. Once you learn how to talk to them on the phone, you can talk your way into some contracts. Wow, really? You get that. Okay, cool. And they'll tell you, here, if you get this, you don't need that. They'll give you the keys to get what you're looking for. But the thing is, you've got to know who to call. And it's not knowing what to say. It's being having the authenticity and be, being authentic in what you're up to. And let them know, look it. Is it do, you, do you also offer this? Do you offer that? Do you offer this? How about if I do this? Can I give you that? What if I have a CD and then blah, 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 whatever. Or here's another one. See, these are the things that people don't really tell you. Right? So I'm talking real training will be like, this is what I teach in the training. Uh, now, sometimes we get off on tangents. But like when you're really training, the training that I really taught, like doing is this. Do you realize you can almost get what you want 90% of the time if you're willing to give them what they want? There's an old saying, give me what you, give me what I want, I'll give you what you want. And don't give it out of, oh, God. No, you give it because that's, that's what you want to do. Ask him, say, facts, you can call uh, uh, Northern Tool. And then who's the other one? Oh, uh, Global Industries. Global Industries is another good one. I like Global Industries. They do report and they have negotiated before. Hey, look it. I'd I know you guys turned me down and I understand that and thank you. And I got your letter telling me why you turned down the corporation. Got it. But I, I want to tell you. What happens if we buy $300 worth of goods and we pay you $150 up front and you bill us the other $150? And the lady says, oh, I never thought of that. Hold on a second. I don't know who she spoke to. She comes back, you know what? If you're willing to do that, we'll do that. It's like 
anything like when you buy a car if your credit is so bad and it sucks and you had a car repo go to the dealership with half down and i guarantee you're going to get a loan they'll loan it to you they will loan you the money because now they got half down and if they don't they can take back the car the same thing with them they got half down evidently you must be serious you're not here to rip them off if you tell them the truth I'm authentically want to say, look, I'm just trying to build a corporate credit, so I'll do what I need to do because I'm the CFO of the organization, so I'm authorized to go ahead and do this and do that. That's perfectly fine. Not a worry about it. See, this is all the art of knowing what to do inside the industry at all times. I can guarantee you, don't you think the rich the corporations out there like Sam's Club, Costco, you notice I'm dropping names not in a certain order because when I drop them the way I drop them because... I have some knowledge about what they have done and what they do to this day. Hey, you know what? This month is going to be a bad month based on our records. Here's what we need to do. We like to go ahead and take the inventory we have. Think about this for a minute, folks. Because now I'm going to get into something that I probably shouldn't step in because I won't be able to go into it too deep. But deep enough is this. They say, look, we're going to go ahead and return this inventory to you, whatever you have left, and then they're going to credit the account, and then they reorder again so they're not behind. Think about that, folks. Think about what they're doing. Man, it happens all the time. They order, and it's a month of woe. It's not so good. They have enough to pay some of it. So, look, we're going to return this back to you, and we're going to pay this to you. Now, when you return it, it shows as a credit. So now it shows that it's paid. And plus they pay the other part. So it says paid as agreed. Now they go back and order again the same thing they need to go ahead and because the, the, the month, the holidays, whatever's coming up, it's going to now be fruitful for them. Folks, this is some of the strategies they don't even tell you. I just drop you a big bomb and you have a big golden nugget for some of you. And I'm not going to explain to you how you use it. That you get in the class. But, folks, I'm telling you, this is, this is not a secret. If your company hasn't even told you that, that you're working with, you better come over to credit, uh, corporatecreditblueprints.com because we unleash stuff that, like you're a Fortune 500 because you can do it if you're a corporation, not an LLC. Now, I'm not saying you can't do it with an LLC but they have a higher respect for a corporation, whether you're brand new or you're older, but an LLC, they don't like it. And most of them that you get stuff are corporations that you get stuff from. I'm not saying not being an LLC. I'm just telling you, they just don't like the LLC too much because it's still an individual involved. Think about it again. I'm going to say it again. An LLC is still an individual involved. They understand a corporation is designed to have a permission slip that gives the orders to the CFO, to the CEO, just like the order people give. Like right now, everyone's all pissed off and upset at Trump, okay, for whatever reasons, good, bad, or indifferent. Now the board, not the board, excuse me, now the officers, which is all the Senate, all 100, want to go ahead and impeach the president, which what happens in a regular corporation when they want the president out? Think about it, folks. Really think about this. They're giving you a schooling. This United States Inc. is giving you a schooling. Now they get all the you get all the senators, which are the board of directors that want to go ahead and impeach him from the presidency or the CEO position. And then you have all the the uh, grunts, which is which is a Congress, all the grunts, Congress to go ahead as the directors now, to go ahead and, 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 and do puppy happy, puppy happy, puppy happy. Okay, Senator, okay, Senator, give me a break, man. Folks, that's the same thing. That's why they respect corporations because you have to get permission to do stuff. And then more than likely, if you do it correctly, now here's the thing, if you do it correctly, you won't, you won't pierce yourself, pierce the veil they talk about, alter ego, all that nonsense. Here's the beauty of the whole thing. There's something also in the document they don't tell you to file, and that's called an intent file. The letter of intent notarized and recorded 
in a special area. When you do that, no matter what happens, other than fraud, no matter what happens, you're the first one to prove intent. Check that in the statutes and codes of the United States, Inc. Statutes and codes, folks. And also the law code, it's both. Anyways, again, like I said, you go ahead and borrow money and you put it into a bank, you got yourself a reference. Now, on top of that, we tell you why, before why you want to, uh, why we want you with us is because of the fact we're going to educate the holy moly out of you. And by the time you get done, you'll be able to walk into your attorney's office. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I want you to do. And now can you do it? Yes or no. And on top of that, you're going to eventually get to a point you're going to hire yourself a paralegal three times a week to come and start looking for stuff for you. Because I'm going to, sh I'm going to teach you once you join us, especially get to the millionaires in the making, we're going to show you how to buy companies, not charge you for anything. This guy, this guy on YouTube charge you for this stuff. We're going to show you, I'm going to charge you for the course, but we're going to show you how to go ahead and do involuntary bankruptcies with companies and go on the take and take over. That is the most awesome thing to do, but it has to be done with also with, uh, with some, um, uh, wisdom behind it because you just want to do it just to be mean. But these are companies you really want to take over. It's done all the time privately, and I'll show you who and what and where. See, a lot of you think AT and T is AT and T. <laughs> do we have a surprise for you? That's just one of many. I'm just dropping a little hat here. So, anyways, the Business Credit Builder Program is is ingenious for you. Not only is it genius for you, because the fact you allow us to be ingenious to create it for you, to have what you want. Folks, if you're tired of just being beat up in life with hoping and wishing and dreaming, what's it, you know, what's it really going to cost a call to even take a look to an investment? Folks, when we answer the phone, we answer the phone saying corporate credit. How may I help you? Who's calling, please? We want to know who to address to say hi. How you doing, Mr. Jones? Hello, Sam. Hello, Ms. Nelson. Hello, Susie, whatever name you have, you know. Also, another thing I'm going to have to make you aware, because I was told by the, by the attorney to make you aware, we do have a system that even if it's a private number, it still decodes, undecodes it. And that's available out there, by the way, folks. Ah, I didn't know that. Did you technology? All right. So you don't want to call because your private number, it will show. All right. Next. So what is the business credit builder program it's what we've been talking about one is about educating you education 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 it's not about just building corporate credit you want to build both so even you want to know when you're going to lose you're going to win that's a weird statement to make do you think that donald trump look at all the stuff he bk why do you still stay a billionaire explain to me lucy folks <laughs> i have fun and a lot of people at corporate credit had fun has fun. So, I mean, I'm not here to be funny, but the thing is, it's true. Hey, Lucy, you guys explain him to do. If you want to get wiped out, learn, don't learn how to set up divisions. Because I guarantee you, you think you know, what to go, uh, I know who to go to. Really? Who do you know to go to? There might be one person that I would give him credit. If you told me this name, I would say, yes, you're right. I don't have a problem with that. I think he's a good guy. He's a great guy. Um, and, you know, we all have our arrogant side. And he has a little bit. But he's still, he, but, you know, he's good. I, can't, I know I tell you what, I had to. I just want to say to you guys is this. How does one touch you and how does one reach you? Because it is coming again. And the next four years are going to be the best years of your life to get your corporation started this year have the money you want in nine months, 12 months, depending on what you want to do. And if you get on the fast track, you'll have it in 120 days where you can go ahead and now have everything reporting right. You'll have like anywhere between 50 to $250,000 reporting on your business in three different, no, four different, five different levels. All right, all the reporting agencies. So you'll be able to go to any place and start getting what you want. I'm talking, you'll have the history, you'll have everything behind it. You'll have everything for your company. You won't have to waste any time. When you get done, boom, okay, you can get your American Express, you can get your Visa, MasterCards, you get your fleet line, you'll get your whatever else you want, your construction thing, you want Home Depot, Office Lowe's, uh, Wells Fargo, uh, whatever it is. We can show you how then from that point, as you start getting cards, we'll start building your, your line of defense and, your, and doing your uh, divisions and moving the credit so it, it keeps multiplying. 
every time you get credit, we want to multiply it. The only thing that's tough to multiply is credit lines. But here's another thing I want to tell you. Here's another little secret. I'm not going to go this far into it, but enough. You have a mom and pop. They have a small apartment building. That's worth maybe, let's say, $4 million. And it services itself, all right? It services, debt service itself, all right? And let's say you, you program the debt service, you say, I want it to be at 70%, but it's well over that, 75, 80%, all right? Cool. Now, guess what? Let's say you want to buy the building from them. There is a way that you can actually buy that building from them through the corporation, even if the corporation was brand new today. You can still go ahead and get the years of the history of that building reported on the corporation in a proper way, solid as a rock. And then you can go to the bank and structure a refinance. And then you can go ahead and pay that loan off. It would be out of the mom and pop's name, even though they're co-signing for the LLC. And on top of that, then you can give them whatever money you promised them. And then you can go ahead and and give them the note for to carry some paper back. And there you go. And there's a way to do it all legally. I'm just giving you the real synopsis brief on it. What? How much would that be worth to you, knowing that you could do that with anybody that wishes to do it? It's really simple once you explain it and show them on paperwork. It's not that hard. I can just get things notarized and then the business has whatever meaning that, and that LLC will have its own little meaning. And then there's something they do in between. What would that be worth to you knowing that? knowing that and it's not no fluke and i can tell you who does that in fact there's several people that have done it in real estate that's in congress even the president has done this why because they have the sharp attorneys this one i have to give it to attorneys attorneys they figured this one out that i got to give it to them this is long ago too and a lot of people really don't know how to do it because it's not talked about it's only talked in circles that people have of influence aren't you of affluence people Aren't you? I don't care if you live in a garage. I lived in a garage before. I understand. No worries about that. All right. So I'll just let you know. No big deal. Where are you from? Sleep in the car? Amen. Guess what? You won't sleep there very long. I don't want to let you know, folks. No matter where you're at in life, you can make a difference. You can really make a difference. Now, also corporate credit building. And we have uh, build up services, starter packets with 14 business trips. Here's what I'm going to give you. I, I don't know why she put this in here, but she did. All right. We have corporate credit buildup services, starter packets with 14 business trade lines activated, added to an existing company or to a brand new one. All right. Straight and simple. That's it. We have, we, I have, we have conglomerates and organizations and divisions that are able to do this and they're fresh, they're good, and they're well-seasoned companies all the way back from 1985, all the way up to now. But of course, you're gonna, that is a package, is a very special package for people that are dead serious. And we're gonna do the work, but you've gotta be on the phone at least, and the training. If you miss one training, then you violate the guarantee. It doesn't matter if it's raining, I don't care if the plane crashes, you call me and tell me the plane crashes, is crashing. I'll make sure we have the, we'll give it to you while before you hit the ground. Once you hit the ground, you'll still keep your agreement. This is one thing, and I'm not, I know it kind of sounds funny, but I'm telling you, we do not play around in that particular area. You are going to keep your word because you want that done. We're going to need some of your help. If we can't get a hold of you that day we need it, information from you for some things that we're not going to have, then we can't do it. It's going to be up to you. And there's some things that we're going to have to go ahead and do that we need you there. Get you on Zoom on your phone at your lunchtime. And if we know you, what time? I, I'll ask you, what time do you have to be back? And you tell me why I can be back at 1 o'clock. Does that mean you got to be at your station at 1 or walking in there at 1? At my station at 1. That means we'll, we'll go ahead and design that when, when time you get off for lunch. All right. We have what? We have 44 minutes. Then we go 44 minutes. And you've got uh, 16 minutes to get back to your desk. Then that's what you do. The thing is, we value your time as you value ours because that is a very powerful package and you outdo anybody in any business. You can have your, this year, you can have your million dollars in credit with no problem. And there's a bonus that goes with it. And we, I'll tell you, if you when you sign up for it, it's about straightening up your personal credit with the rapid rescore. That'll get you some stuff really quick. So with that said, I just want to let you know that's what it is. So you can call the office. 
you know, or uh, go ahead and just uh, go to our website at www.corporatecreditblueprints.com. Just put your information in there, your name, address, phone number, email, all that stuff. Also download the information for you. And then also you can go to uh, uh, HTTP dot uh, colon forward slash forward slash corporate credit dash blueprints.com and you can put your information there as well and get your book so two places you can go to i'm giving you the real estate site as well that's what it was now this is what i'm saying this is also again you've got to have that sincerity look and you've got to have that armor when you go out there this is what we give you we give the armor so you can start planting see that package i just spoke about this package I just spoke about, you can build up. Now you can start banking on what you're looking forward to. Great. By this time, let's say I start now. So this call, since this half month is already gone, you have February, you got March, April, May, June, July. All right. So it's one, two, three, what? Four. All right. Four, five, five months, six months tops, depending if you uh, miss a few things. You are now can go out in June and start going to places and start doing what you want to do and applying for certain things and also have your business going, whatever it might be. You have Now you can start structuring your business, knowing that in six months, your business plan's all set. You have the things you need for your business. You know that you're actually going to have the credit for your business. And boom, guess what? Then we said, great, what do you want? And then we'll go right online together. We'll apply together so you can see it, see it together. We'll show you how to apply online and bam, you're off to the races. Oh, absolutely. This excites me the most because it's already done for you. It's ready to set. You have your blueprint for life, which means you go get the blueprint for your life for your business. You have five months to have your business plan ready and strong to go. While we're building this and everything else, you're going to have your fleet your approvals and all this stuff like that. We'll get it all done because of the fact how we set it up what it says right here. You'll have everything done. So when you're ready to go, June, you can hit it in July. Open the doors and go. Now, again, that's why I'm saying you have the suit of armor. And then in between that, we're helping you restore your credit if it needs restoring. And we'll get you at least a couple of hundred thousand dollars in credit cards. Personal. For emergencies only. Because it is, it will be coming. But at least your business will be strong. You'll have strong personal credit in case you need the emergency money in the credit side. Not for luxuries. Not to go buy yourself a Bentley. You want to buy a Bentley, then you be, then make then make five hundred make five hundred million a year, then you get yourself a Bentley, real secure. If you make a half a million dollars, that's that's a Bentley's two twenty five. Forget it. That's a joke. Even a million dollars, two twenty five, three twenty five. You want to buy a roaster? It's going to cost you that much more. With a V twelve that goes, I I forgot how from zero to sixty. I think a fast one I seen is like five point four or four point four seconds. A Bentley. That's heavy, all right? And then on top of that, you want to buy the Bentley with the real silver radiator, not what they have now, all right? I'm telling you, you've, you want to make at least $500 million a year, and you can have whatever you wish and spend it. But a million dollars is nothing. That's, that's like 100 bucks. You can blow that, and you could just pass that in the wind. Eat enough beans, you'll pass it in the wind. Trust me, all right? I'm telling you that that's an exciting package to get because you can start planning. You can plan your dream. If you want to take off and never come back to the country and run the business from here, you have it. But again, I'm going to tell you, it's an investment in yourself and you'll end up with 10 times more than what you invested. 10 times more. All right. This is what you want to have. You got to understand, you've got to have these, these, this kind of armor. You've got to have that, 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 the, the arrows, the knife, the wings. How am I going to fly from this one? Oh, it comes to me. You're going to learn when the wave comes, you're going to learn how to go ahead and really make a big difference saying, all right, this is coming. This is not working. The books say no. I know what I got to do. I need to go ahead and isolate, arbitrate, negotiate, and then um, incorporate. And then if not, then you go ahead and file BK on it. That's it. Over with. Debt follows tax ID. Debt follows tax ID, folks. Folks, 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 debt follows tax ID. Remember that, remember that. Because this is what the this is what even the GM and other people do. They have a, they have divisions and they do their R and D in the divisions. If it doesn't work out, they kill the division and write it off. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. They're such a big company. They can't be me. They started out just like you. Ghost, 
See, you guys got to go study these big companies and go back all the way to their beginning. They had a day one, just like you, but they didn't have what you have now. A lot of you can be up and running, have a minimum of $250,000 on your credit report. And then on top of that, you'll have, you'll have $500,000 to a million dollars worth of credit in that period of time, $500,000 to a million, all right? And your three divisions with all that credit floating around. And then if you wish, as you start making money, you can start building like the references to the bank as well, building CDs, getting a credit line, CDs, credit line. Folks, there's many things you can do. Then you're gonna learn the art of negotiation. We'll teach you now on each card, each card tells you something, who the underwriter is and where to go. Each card tells you. And we go over that with you so you learn it so you can go get great. And then after that, you still have the relationship. After that, you still have the training. Training is not going to go away. Once we're done with that particular phase, we're, we're going to keep helping you build and say, hey, you know what? They didn't approve me on this. We'll take a look and we'll, I'll even call for you with you on the online. We'll do a Zoom where you see I'm, it's really me, okay? And we'll call. It's not that I say anything magical. Is there things I listen to when they speak and I go, oh, okay, I got it. That's the difference. I don't, I'm not thinking, okay, what I need to say. I don't have to think what I need to say because what they're telling me is what I need to say next. See, that's what people don't understand is that they're trying to figure out. Right now, a lot of you try to figure out what I'm saying and how to take it instead of just taking the data in, listening to the data without trying to decipher it and trying to think what it means. You can't even hear what I'm saying because you're trying to even think even what I'm saying now. What does he mean by what he's saying? See, when you actually, the art of listening is really hearing them without thinking what you're going to say next to them. You don't have to know what to say next to them. If you really listen to them, they tell you what to say next. That's it. That's where a lot of arguments begin because everyone just, I don't know, I want to get in there. I want to get in there. I want to get in there. I got to get my thing in there. Okay, cool. And then when, they, when actually, because some people go, what's wrong? I said, I'm listening to you. They look at you kind of weird, like, really? <laughs> so, anyways, let's see. What else we got? Uh, oh, my staff just told me something. Okay, got it. All right, I'll hurry, I'll hurry, I'll hurry. All right, so, again, also your business can have business opportunity. This could be a side business for you, folks. Side business because you'll have enough money to do it. For, like, for instance, you guys can be also private lenders to real estate flippers. All right, I tell you about the... Um, Corporate Credit uh, Blueprints Private Money Exchange. This is, again, for house flipping, for house flip and or rehabs. All right, you're in the right place. Again, there's information down below. Hi, YouTubers. Hi, Facebooks. Again, I'm not here to be your attorney. I'm not here to go ahead and be your accountant. I'm not here to be your CPA. We just go ahead and consulting and coaching what we do and everything else in life. All right, and then we've decoded a lot of stuff for the entire process that you can follow, bite-sized things. All right, if you're interested in learning more about the program, we're already told you, give us a call. It's right there. It's right there. It's just right there. Folks, I really want to say, you really, that one program, I just that one program I talked about, you can have your business, even if the one you said, ah, oh, I just didn't work for me. It didn't work because of COVID, you weren't set up right. We're going to set you up so I don't care how many COVID, how many COVIDs come, come along and wipes out, you're going to be ready for it. Because you're number one, if you were a restaurant, you're going to own a restaurant now with a drive through and also with takeout, home delivery. In fact, you're going to build on that business as your doors are open. So when the business changes because of the fact you got to close down because it's, they tell you to close down, you can still deliver, but you can't have nobody come in your restaurant. Cool beans. Boom. We'll deliver. We'll drive through and we'll bring it to your car. That's it, folks. You'll never have to be, never bring the pain home again. Also, you're going to have high approval limits. There's a lot of stuff you're going to get without your social security, without personal gear. Oh, by the way. All that money I'm talking about is non-personal guarantee, no PG. Listen to this, listen to this, uh, Mr. YouTube guy that tells people out there, oh, you got to have $100,000 in the bank and you got to go ahead and have uh, uh, tax, uh, tax returns to go ahead and get the kind of money. Guess what? Uh, I hate to tell you, pal. God, I like to say something, but it's public. I'll just be nice. I want to be, what do you call it? PC, politically correct. Or does that mean protective custody because you can't say what you really want to say? Come on, folks. Get off the get off the gas if you want to say. All right, let's. Here's the thing. I like it keeping it 100. Okay, keep it real, the authentic. The beauty is this: 
you're never going to get anything from me that's not real. And if I make a mistake, hey, guess what? I, I did. Oops. Now let's see how we're going to go ahead and work it. Mistake means whatever it might. I might tell you one thing and it doesn't work. Well, it doesn't work because usually it's on the other end why it didn't work, but I won't say that to people that do it because they get, usually get hurt. So I said, oh, okay, great. And we'll figure out and see how we can make it work. Here's the whole thing. Folks, I want to really tell you, again, what excites me the most is that the people that take that one program, they get to actually now sit down and go plan their life again, revitalize themselves and get back into the world of operating like, oh, wow, I actually have, I actually have a chance again. You always had a chance, but then no one ever told you that you did. So even when you lose, you're going to win. All right. On top of this, never bring the pain home. You're going to learn never, never, never to bring the pain home again. Again, even when the storm comes, another COVID. I'm telling you, there's many more COVIDs coming. This, you'll be ready. Uh, even, you know, people when I first, be, uh, when I got things going and stuff like that, they didn't even believe that it would actually be working. And some people, you know, are, they just want to be lazy. You can't be lazy in this kind of environment. You've got to be really either moving, you've got to be the shaker, a mover, or something, or create something that's going to help people and get people going. And this, you'll be able to reju rejuvenate your life. And if you have kids, you can get the kids involved. You can get the family involved in it because the fact is it does something. But the family has to be willing to work, not just, just like, and they have to go ahead and think out of the box. That's the most important part because this is not a box type mentality. Okay? All right. Never put all your uh, eggs, in one, uh, eggs in one basket. You can have uh, over medium, over easy, or over hard eggs in the division. And then you can have anything else after uh, egg sandwich, BLT egg sandwiches, egg sandwiches with ham. That's how many divisions you want to have, but you don't put all your eggs in one basket. And we'll show you what, what we mean by that also in the training. Also, as we go on, you're going to load your business name. You're going to learn how to set up the line of defense. Never bring the pain home. Again, those of you that filed the DBA, if you file the DBA and if you put your social security number on there, you're dumb, dee -dee, dumb, dumb, dumb. You're going to get a tax ID with that and a DUNS number. That separates you from the whole thing. Debt follows tax ID. Debt follows tax ID. Remember that. Never bring the home and setting up the line of defense is where the power is. Now, with that said, again, here's someone again that we had last time, I told you last week in Georgia, 15-4. Not a whole lot, but it's a lot some of you can use to do something with because they didn't need a whole lot. That's all they needed to do some stuff in their business, all right? Because it's for staffing levels, all right? And the production and stuff like that. That's nothing, so nothing they needed a lot, all right? You're going to learn again about divisions, parent corporations. You know, each division can have its own tax ID, its own set of credit reports, 1K to 1 million. So also a division can have three, three subdivisions. Think about that, folks. You can go 92 deep, 92 to 98 deep. That'll be a 1 million line right down there if you did it that way. You can go 10 across, however you wish to do it. Then on top of that, what you can go ahead and do is guess what? You can go ahead and have subdivisions. And your subdivisions can go ahead and get... Here's This will tell you, this is daisy chaining, baby, at its finest. Now... I know a lot of you smart rats think, I can figure this out. I can go ahead and do this. All right, go ahead, do it. And then come back and tell me you did it and show me what you did. And I'll charge you for correcting it. Folks, it's easy, but it isn't easy at the same time. Each subdivision can have two more subdivisions. Think about that. Woo wee <laughs> I like it because I'm telling you, folks, when the storm comes, no matter what happens, there's a way that you're able to take each one of those and isolate it so it doesn't affect the, 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 whole, the whole barn. Like the barrel of apples, one bad apple spoils the barrel. Great, we can get that one apple out of there. And we were able to do what we need to do to get rid of it and isolate it, arbitrate it, negotiate it, and then boom, bankrupt it. But I'm telling you, folks, this is so awesome. You can go to $16 million with 10 legs across. 16. But there's also a way to get to a billion. Later, as you notice, I've been saying everything is a plan on the problem. This is what a lot of people didn't do during the COVID. They didn't have a plan. They all, you know, happy go lucky, or like making money, and so nothing can go wrong. I called clients. I mean, I, I, I was out in the streets. I like going out the street. I actually don't like this, but this is what we have. I like doing the real live where people come to the hotel and get to see you, and from there they can ask all the questions you want. Now, with this said, next, next, uh, what's this? This is Wednesday, Sunday. Sunday, um, YouTube and Facebook, we're going to make the announcement. I'm going to announce it right now. 
I'm going to be on YouTube. Facebookers, we're going to give you the YouTube link that we're going to be on. We want you to go over to the YouTube link on Sunday. Same time, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Mountain, and 6 p.m. Pacific time. On Sunday, this Sunday, which will be the, I don't know, the what, 14th is tomorrow, 15th of Friday, 17th. The 17th, Sunday. All right? Go to YouTube. We're going to put the link in Facebook to go to YouTube. There we're going to open up the question and answer box live on YouTube. We're going to stream live and answer. I'll answer any of your questions. Even the uh, people that actually, you might lie about your name, I don't know. But I want to let you know also that even if you're a credit guy, you want to go ahead and try to stump me, come on down. Not a problem. You know, uh, even uh, Otai can come and cry to stump me. I'll be glad to because I'll stump him back. Here's one thing I want to tell you. Stumping me is not the problem. Is I know a lot of you know a lot of the basic stuff. We all do. In fact, even people that uh, take care of uh, pers the personal credit side, everybody out there that's trying to do something knows about the person, the basics. But when you get down to the level, see, everyone thinks it's a secret. Now, my next mission is going to develop a bit uh, a a you know, strong division that handles personal credit, but we're going to tell you all the secrets that the so-called gurus aren't telling you that everybody already, that it's already out there, but that you just don't know where to go get it. We're just going to go ahead and spill the beans. I want to destroy that, some of that area for some of the people that are doing that, because you know what? If you're going to have someone work and be like a, uh, an affiliate learning to handle personal credit and you're their guru and you're not telling them everything you need to know, Shame on you. You should be destroyed. Why? Because of the fact that if you take somebody on like that, they're counting on you and their family's counting on you and you don't want to give them what's really what really works. That is like the meanest thing you can do. That's cruel. That's that's worse than crucifying someone on a cross because of the fact you're going to starve their family out because you want to remain the so-called guru. Well, guess what? If you're the master, make sure the person becomes not the master with you, but they become the friend equal with you so you can take them together. That's my opinion about the people that do the corporate personal personal uh, credit on, on the personal side. That's why I like giving up spilling the beans of the corporate credit as much as I can, because I'm here to educate you. I know you're going to one day you're going to find out who cares. I want you to be the equal that everyone is. There should be no all of us should be Bezos if you wish. If not, then you can be a Steve Jobs. If not, you can be a Bill Gates. If not, then you can go ahead and be Sam's Club. If not, you can be a Walmart. I mean, whoever you choose to be, or you can choose just to be you. How about that? But again, that's why I say plan on safety credit, line of defense. That's always been my thing. Now, another thing, here's someone else. They got 19000 for for their, uh, their business. All right. And again, that's what they do. Now, if you guys want the PPP loan, give us a call. We can put you in line and get you registered so they can go ahead and call you. Yes, there is a fee that you'll pay with that after it gets done. Thank you. Now, I tell you about real estate. This is what I'm talking about. You want your real estate? That's why we're into the private money funding area of that now. All right. Another thing is this. This is what's included with the program. This is another, this is another part of the program that if you go in this particular program, not only do we help you build the divisions, uh, we also help you get the uh, websites with it unless you want to do it on your own. This is this if you're working, but again, this is where you get all this stuff. And not on top of that, you get some extra special areas in here because this is the fleet building and this is a, a whole other area here. So you can call us about this particular program. But this one here, same thing. Not only can you plan and go to go now start planning, you know that you'll open up in June or July for sure. You have everything you need, and we can start applying for some stuff in July for what you need for out for whatever it might be for your business or whatever uh, lines or cars or whatever you're going to do. It'll all be set up ready to go for that period of time. Again, those are the only two programs that we can guarantee because we're going to be doing the work. And all we can do is our staff can only handle five here and handle five in the other, and the rest won't. We won't be there. We won't do any more until after we complete one at a time. Once we complete them all, then we'll be open again. So when we finish one, we'll put an ad out that we're doing one more again. This is one of the reasons why I wasn't around for so long is because I this is what I, was, I like. It takes me too much because I make sure a lot gets done because I'm the one who handle the uh, stuff with the people when I call for information. I won't have them do it. 
I'll have other people go ahead and call. I'll call you for the personal information I need, not our people. They take care of the other stuff that we need. So that's what we want to see. They're, they're like the ones in the, in, the, in the hole. I'm in the front line when I'm calling you. So I, I like that. All right. Now, again, I just want to repackage your whole life, guys. I just want to repackage so you can start dreaming again. Put that on paper. Start dreaming out. Okay, this one I'm going to get. You know in June or July, you're going to have it for sure what you, what you need. You're going to have 10 times. Put it this way. Whatever you paid, what's 10 times, 10 times the money that you would get? If you had $250,000 reporting on the whole thing, now you're able to go ahead and I'm talking in five, five areas, five areas. You have like 30, 30 here, 40 here, 50 here reporting totals 250. All right. Report it. Or if you want more, I have a real special program. I haven't really, really said, but this one has 1.2 million reporting on the business in depth. Now, that one, if you want to have a conversation, that one, I'm going to be straight up with you. That is that is way beyond if you're really a rumbler. And that one is, I'm going to just tell you, it's, it's, it costs. Why? Because it's really, I'm talking credit lines that are reporting, all right? This is the big kahuna. But this is usually, I don't talk to people until after the Millionaire's Club, but I put it out there because you know what? There's some people that probably, you know, they invested. I'm talking if you really invested, you're going to move. You're going to have a couple of restaurants open, a couple of franchises, whatever it is, because you'll have the wherewithal to do it. So that's one thing for sure. <laughs> but it's a big package. It really is. All right. Anyways, here's what we, why you need the credit business builder. I don't know, really. I'm just asking you why. But here is just we take the guesswork out of everything. We engineer our products to achieve the highest amounts. Also, the property reporting, Equifax Retail, Equifax uh, Financial, SBFE. PayNet, Experian. Remember, I went over a lot of that. I went over the SBFE about three weeks. No, nah, three, no, three, ooh, maybe a week or two weeks ago. I went in depth about PayNet. These are things that are very important. A lot of people didn't mention to you before. How could they never mention it to you, to you before? Some say, well, I knew about it. Why did they teach you it? Why You'll learn how to use each one of these reports. You have the major ones, Dun & Brad, Business Experian, and Business Equifax, okay? Those are the three major ones. Okay, great. But what about the other ones that play a other part? See, I've been teaching this for the longest time. This is the back room. That's why I say, if you're going to work with someone that's not, that's, because they're, a, a, like, for instance, on the private credit side, well, they're this guru. Okay, great. Then the guru should teach you all the moves necessary. And I mean necessary means everything. All right? And there's a timing. Sometimes it'd be too much, but they should still be able to talk it. I'm going to teach you more, but this is as far as we're going to go because I want to make sure you kind of master to a point. It's just like going to college, folks. There's every quarter there's something to go. Every quarter is something to go. But this is the only co college and university you can get to and learn. And when you get done, you have some money to show for it instead of getting out and owing money. That's the most dumbest thing I ever did in my life, but I did it. But I learned from that. Now I know when I graduate, each time I do something, I make a little money. I make a little money in credit, you know, a thousand here, half a million there, whatever it is, and so on and so on and so on. Then what happens, you're growing and you're re what you're doing. That's the investment. That's the return you're getting yourself by having that credit. So you can have your life that you wish. And it's also reusable. So remember, also when you lose, you're going to win. That's one thing about that. So one thing I want to say about the course is this. If funding, if you want to fund up to 250K for qualified business that are at least two years old, business under two years old qualify for funding as well. Amounts vary depending on the industry. Now, we have specialty classes, credit rebuilding programs, corporate setup, and also tycoon in the making. No kidding. I said tycoon, all right, which is the million in the making. All I want to say is this. If you're ready to start, why not? If you want to understand what it is now to actually dream, and when I gave you that one other program I talked about earlier, saying you just got to build out two programs, actually. If you want to really build out your business and know in June or July that you're ready to go, then here's the time. Or sooner. Or sooner. I'm just giving you that time frame for sure. Those are the only two programs right now that I give guarantees on. All your guarantees on. And the thing is, though, there's also stipulations that you must perform or else you violate the agreement. And once you violate the agreement, then the guarantee's off. Because though that's that, it's, they're all time sensitive. Everything's time sensitive for what works and you will be part of the time sensitive. But the thing is, when you're done having this built for you, this fine tuned machine, you'll be able to go ahead and open up your business. 
we can tell me what we have to order. We'll get everything ordered in the meantime so you can start getting it and then start growing. All I want to say is this. Thank you for being here tonight. And most of all, I wish a lot of you blessings. And may you have blessings that you've never dreamt of. May you have financial blessings, spiritual blessings, whatever it is you're looking for. But remember, every time you make a penny, every time you make a dollar, you give that 10% to some one of your favorite charities that make a difference in the community. Even if it's in your own family somewhere for the moment, you do the own family for a moment, but let it grow. Remember, it will come back to you. So again, good night. Thank you for being here at Corporate Credit Blueprints. I hope you pick something out of this tonight. Go back and listen to it again. I dropped you some real big nuggets. All right, folks, I wanna say good night, good luck. And most of all, I wanna say, Thank you for being here.